Coach, I was wondering how the guys were at practice today and if you get a sense for their excitement as they get ready to face the 18th ranked team in the country. Yeah, I mean, I think they were focused. Uh, they were really paying attention to to the game plan and, you know, what, what we're going to try to get accomplished there. Uh, it was good, uh, good energy at, at practice. Uh, you know, we had a good film session today looking at a lot of their stuff, a lot of the things that that they want to do, things that we feel that, that we need to uh, really focus on. Um, obviously, they, they're getting up and down the court at a, uh, at a great pace, and that's going to be important for us to, to get back and, and hopefully get our, our defense set. Chris Harris. Coach, I was just curious. Is it unfortunate that uh, students won't be able to be at this game and for a few games? I mean, it's obviously a big name team coming in, a lot of atmosphere, team coming in, a lot of atmosphere that could be there. What, what do you think? Oh, uh, man, we, we're super disappointed about that. Um, I think it's just it's unfortunate timing, you know, with, the, with what's going on with this virus and everything. Um, you know, just these rivalry games that we have coming up, obviously the momentum that, that we had um, after Arkansas. Uh, but I, I saw that we had, you know, a pretty lively crowd, hopefully a bit, you know, even more more lively in, in these games coming up. But it's, it's, it's tough. But, I mean, I, I definitely get it. Uh, we, we've been at the, the forefront of, 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 you know, this this pandemic and everything that's going on. I mean, right here at Vanderbilt, a lot of the um, – you know, just the protocols and everything that's, that's happened across the country, you know, start right here. So we're, we're going to continue to, to trust, you know, our leadership and, and trust the experts. I mean, it's just uh, hopefully when, whenever we do get our, you know, our, our students back, uh, that we can really do something special for them. I mean, I've gotten a couple of emails from, from, from students and I feel their pain, you know, I absolutely do. I wish they could be there. And like I said, we're going to try to do something special for them whenever we're allowed to, to put it whenever they're allowed back, but it's just right now it's, it's more important to, to keep, um, you know, our student body safe, you know, and I think we've been doing a good job of that, the things that we've been able to do as far as having graduations, a, a, lot, a lot of that has been in large parts to the steps that our administration has taken over the last year and a half, and we're just going to continue to try, try to support them. Unfortunate for that, that we won't have our, our students there, but um, hopefully we'll, we'll get through this and we'll get, get them back there soon enough. Teresa. Afternoon. Uh, last year, you had a lot of tight games uh, to start the conference play. This year, you, you prevailed at Arkansas, uh, didn't quite pull it off uh, against uh, South Carolina on Saturday. Where do you feel this team is at and being able to try to, to, to get that area and get to the point of finishing off more of these games? Oh, no, I mean, I think we, we, you know, we got some good momentum there, Teresa. I think we really do. Um, it was just unfortunate. We, we, you know, it was kind of an outlier game for us. We came in with a good game plan. I thought to take away that three, and we did a good job of that. They just scored at a, a, a rate that in the two-point area that nobody scored on us all year. You know what I'm saying? They were almost 1.5 per, per possession, and that's unheard of us. I mean, guys like Gray. And, and Levesque stepped up and, and had some games, made some contested shots over some extended hands. Um, I personally thought they were camping out in the lane a little too long, you know, so, but, and, and, but I think hopefully we can um, you know, we continue to do what we do. It's a little bit of a different game plan than, than what we have, but like, like you mentioned it, like we're just, it's nothing new for us. We've been in this position before where we've been in a lot of close games and they hadn't gone our way, but I think the maturation of our younger players that have been in, you know, in our system and understand what we're trying to do is, is helping hopefully help us get over, over the hump and get some separation. We've already, you know, beat some, some good teams. And I, and I do think South Carolina's a, a good, a good team or as the season goes on, um, it probably wouldn't won't, won't feel as bad as it did, you know, the last last game, especially with us not being able to to get a shot attempt. But those those were growing moments, things that we can learn from. Um, you know, I mean, Scotty beat himself up, you know, bad because he had some uncharacteristic turnovers, some turnovers in the last couple of games, and I just think it's been just you know not not all on him. You look at it and you feel like those you know those turnovers on him, but it was some of the things that we were shortcutting on the weak side. You know, where he thought that guys was going to be and, and, and we're not setting our, 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 our pin downs, not setting our hammer screens with the efficiency that we needed to. And the guys were able to get their, their hands on some balls and actually steal them. And, and that, 
you know, and that put us at a disadvantage. They had like 17 points in, in transition and, and eight of those were off of those live ball turnovers. So we, we cut down those live ball turnovers, you know, take care of things that we can control, like going to the line and knocking down our shots and continue to be stingy defense, continue to share it offense. So we feel like we're going to be on the, you know, on the positive side of, of those, those, those nights more times than not. Mr. Tipton, good to see you. You go ahead next, sir. Yeah, hi, Jerry. I, I wondered uh, Sabir Wheeler's status is kind of up in the air. I wonder, and he's been a very good player for Kentucky. What? How does that impact the planning? How much does that maybe throw things off a little? Yeah, I mean, I just think we, you know, we have to be prepared for, um, you know, for, for whoever they, they, they put out there. Obviously, you know, Sabir is a, uh, a real downhill threat. I mean, he's a guy that really gets, you know, the engine that gets them going in, in their transition game, the way he likes to hit ahead, the, the speed that he's able to to bring it himself, um, you know, the way he's been proven. But, you know, then you look at, uh, you know, Ty Ty Washington and what he's been able to do in the big assist game that that he had, you know, breaking a record, you know. So, I mean, I, they, they have a little, you know, they got gotten a little bit of a rhythm um with him in the lineup and they, and they kept that rhythm without him in the lineup so it'd be interesting to see how how they choose to go um but i but i think we you know we'll be able to you know if we we focus and, and lock into the things that we need to do on our end we, we'll be able to handle you know whoever whoever's out there and if i could ask one more with your vast experience in basketball i wonder what kind of an impression oscar shibway makes on you as a rebounder uh, he's, I mean, he's, he's an unbelievable rebounding guys get it, uh, like his hands on a lot of balls, even the ones that he doesn't gather for himself. Uh, he's able to get his hands on and, and, you know, with those other guys try, uh, crashing Brooks and, um, where, uh, you know, top and those guys are, they're all threats on the offensive board. So it's going to be important for us to, to, to put bodies on those guys, not, not just try to, you know, put a hip check on them. We really got to go to their bodies and try to keep those guys off the board. But he's, he's been re rebounding at an unbelievable rate. Uh, he, he's scoring on the block, um, his face up, doing some things. He's, he's, he's having a really good year. Um, but we feel like our, our big man is having a pretty, really good, really good year himself. And it should be, a, I mean, I think he's up to the challenge. It's, his challenge is to try to, you know, put a body on him and, and uh, keep him off the boards and, and, and allow for our other guys to come in and hopefully, you know, secure and, and, uh, the rebound. Thanks. Aria. You know, outside of uh, Liam, are you guys looking like, you know, that you're going to be at full strength? How's Rodney doing, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, we, you know, everybody's a little banged up right now. We'll, we'll see who, you know, they, they see how they come, you know, through their uh, maintenance and um, treatments and stuff over the day. And we'll, we'll see who's available tomorrow. And we're kind of in the same boat. We don't know exactly who all is going to be available, but we, we, we know and whoever we have out there, we know that they'll get out there and compete. Bobby? Uh, hey, Stack, it seems like uh, Kentucky has maybe changed its roster building strategy a little bit in terms of taking some veteran transfers. Uh, you know, do you see a different style of play this season uh, or, you know, is it still kind of similar to the last two years? You know, uh, what stands out when you watch them compared to the last two seasons? No, I mean, I think they had talent, but again, you know, it was it was you know, high school talent that was coming in and really have to to learn. Um, the system, and and I think now that uh, he's gone with more of a you know veteran guys, guys that have been you know in college a, a few years that have come in and it, and that they're able to adjust to, to to his system. I thought Grady has been doing. I mean, he's been shooting the ball you know, unbelievable lately. So we got to be concerned about him. But he's just a guy that has won games. I mean, we played against him at Davidson. He was a great player there, and then he's coming on you know coming to Kentucky with with that same type of energy and effort. So, um, you know, it's a little bit of a shift of gears from, from what they've had, you know, in the past, we're kind of the, the blue chip guys, the, you know, the five-star guys, um, but there's still, you know, you know still talent there. So we, we've got to, we got to treat it the same way. It's, it's still Kentucky. Um, you know, Cal does a good job of getting those guys. I mean, a great dribble drive system, putting a lot of pressure on your defense. So we've got to be uh, ready to guard and, and, and ready to, to deal, handle a lot of different actions. But we hopefully, you know, with some of those guys that still, you know, learning this early in the season, they're still learning the system a little bit. And maybe we can take advantage of some of the things that we were able to 
um, to do to, to them, you know, offensively and defensively. Hey, Jordan, you guys last year, I mean, lost two games to these guys by less than five points. I mean, every game is important, but is it a little more meaningful when it's Kentucky? What about this gets you guys up for this game? Uh, definitely. I mean, Kentucky's been one of the best in our conference for as long as I can remember, as long as I've been watching basketball, I've always seen Kentucky. They've always been at the top of the league. Um, and being so close my first two years has just given us added motivation, especially last year. Um, for me personally, uh, I missed those two free throws last year. I feel like we could have won the game with those, with those makes. So just for me personally, it's a, a big incentive going into this game, just trying to get that, that game back from last year. Any more questions for Jordan? I'll go one more. What have you guys focused on the last couple of days of practice? I mean, kind of a season high 19 turnovers for you guys the other day. Has that been kind of a focus? What's been the uh, priority going into this one? Um, definitely not turnovers. Um, first of all, like you said, we have a lot, we had a lot of turnovers. Um, focusing on our office rebound, I mean, rebounding just in general, uh, making sure we box out. Um, their biggest leading the country rebound, something like that. So uh, just focusing on our rebounding and being strong with the ball. Uh, it's just coach been emphasizing to us the past couple of days. Aria, go ahead. Kentucky is, uh, you know, obviously a team that's really good at passing, really good at rebounding. So, you know, what is kind of your plan to contain some of those things that they might do, you know, away from the basket? I think kind of limiting them in transition as well. They play really fast. They like to get the ball out. Um, controlling them in that area of the game and taking away some of their sprays. They have some good shooters. Um, so making them play uh, two on two kind of with our big and, and, our, and our point guard. So um, a lot of keeping them off the three point line is another big thing for us too. Barry? Yeah, Jordan. Uh, Kentucky takes a lot of pride in defense. How, uh, how have you guys played offensively to this point? Um, we've added some some new sets, some new things that we want to run. Um, kind of that has that their defense has depended. We feel there's a weakness for them, so we kind of added some things, kind of adjusted our offense um, towards this game and gearing it towards attacking their defense and, and how they play. And what do you think of uh, Oscar Shibwe? He's leading the nation in rebounding and offensive rebounding. How do you try to deal with him and contain him? Um, you just have to put a body on them at all times. Um, Q, I think Q is, is really good at, at boxing out, but we have to send another guy to make sure Q is there. Um, like you say, he gets his hands on everything. Even if he doesn't get the rebounds, he has some tip outs and things like that. So just make sure we have a body on him at all times, know where he is on the floor and, and just coming with some physicality and being aggressive and not just letting him make the first contact. We got to initiate that contact and, and hit first.